And good evening now. We begin tonight with an earthquake and three aftershocks here in the Midlands. The earthquake itself happened around 2.20 this afternoon. It was centered in the Lugolf Elgin area. The first aftershock was a magnitude 2.5, which happened around 5.39. A 2.1 aftershock took place some 45 minutes later. And within the last hour, a third aftershock was recorded, measuring in at 1.7. Tonight, Nigel Hood has community reaction. All of a sudden, I felt this like, big old rumble up under my feet and a boom. Residents left shaken after a series of earthquakes near the town of Elgin. I was in the office and me and my boss were actually going over some paperwork and we just heard a big boom. It was really loud and then we felt a shake. Residents say they've never felt anything like it. We normally feel a lot of vibrations from when Fort Jackson's doing their training and everything. But this was totally different. Although experts say earthquakes don't typically cause structural damage at a 3.3 magnitude, people still felt its impact. The window shook, like I said, the cabinets open, the whole floor shook, the roof was shaking. We never felt anything like that before. USGS reported two aftershocks that followed hours later with magnitudes of 2.5 and 2.1. Experts say these are common and usually less severe than the initial earthquake. Much, much more rare there could be something larger. But it's much more likely if there's going to be another earthquake, it's going to be within a day or a few days, and they're going to be smaller than the initial one. But we'll be actually be keeping an eye on it now. In Elgin, Nigel Hood, News 19, WLTX. Again, that third aftershock happening about an hour ago. Now, South Carolina, no stranger to small earthquakes. In late October, there were seven quakes reported within a week's time period. Those quakes all happened around the Monticello Reservoir near Jenkinsville in Fairfield County. That reservoir powers a hydroelectric plant and provides cooling water for the VC Summer Nuclear Station. Daniel Bonds has been following these earthquakes today. He's uh, in the Weather Center now with more. And again, Daniel, that third aftershock happening right at one hour ago, correct? Yeah, that's true. We just got it confirmed about 30 minutes or so ago, but U.S. Geological Survey did confirm that aftershock at 10.03, a 1.7. Didn't get as much social media, I'll say chatter, as we did for the first three earthquakes, but certainly another confirmed earthquake from the U.S. Geological Survey. And as we've been talking about, we've had four so far, four earthquakes with the relatively bigger one happening earlier this afternoon at 218. You say relatively bigger, it's still considered a minor earthquake. And you notice it is felt, but you typically don't have any damage. And obviously that one just a while ago or an hour or so ago wasn't felt by too many people. Only a few people say they have felt that one on social media outlets, but not a big surprise to have some earthquakes. These are inferred faults, which are assumed to be faults. That's where those couple of earthquakes have occurred. And you see those orangey lines there. Those are the map faults. Those are the confirmed fault lines. As far as the weather's concerned, we can confirm it's going to be pretty mild tonight with lows in the mid to upper 50s. It's going to be pretty warm tomorrow, 78 degrees under partly cloudy skies. I've got your seven day forecast coming up in just a few minutes, JR.